G'day everyone, Bailey here from Gold Coast Boating Centre. We're back on the water for another walkthrough video. This is one of the smallest boats, if not the smallest boat in the Extreme series. This is the 1770 Enduro. Now, I've got to say, this is one of the coolest open boats. This one we've converted into a side console, which they do provide the option for. But as standard, it does come with a tiller steer style operation. But we're going to jump through the boat, show some features. We'll get some running out here on the creek today as well. But stay tuned. If you do like these videos, drop a like below. It really helps out the channel. And subscribe, and you won't miss a video in the future. So some of the specs on this 1770 Enduro. Overall length, just over five and a half meters at 5.52 meters with a beam of 2.05 meters. It has got a bottom sheet thickness of five mils and the sides are four. So very strong, very heavy duty boat, especially for this size of boat. You don't find many boats with a standard five mil bottom sheet. Horsepower range, you can go from 60 all the way up to a 90. We'll go over it in a second, but we have gone for the max horsepower on the back, which is the 90 horsepower Yamaha four-stroke. Now, height on a trailer, it's about 1.7 meters. This has got the upgraded bow rails, so it's a little bit taller, and it's also got a maximum rating of four people that you can take out on the water. Color on this 1770 Enduro. This is the 2K Silver, so it looks very stunning. Again, it's probably my favorite color that Extreme offers. You would have seen it on our 646 Game King boat as well. Same color. That runs pretty much all the way through the boat. You can see the internal too, and it just delivers a great look out in the water. So the bow rails, very high. These are the upgraded full height bow rails in this one, so you do feel very safe if you are casting from inside the boat. You don't have to worry about ever falling out of the boat. You have, they are a lot higher than the standard. So you've got these on there, full commercial grade, very nice finished welding on the bottom too. The extremes come with, again, one of the most, it's the smallest thing, but they are very well designed. These cleats, they make these in their factory, full in-house. All the welds are fantastic. The machinery finished on them is just, it is amazing. And there's a couple of those, one on that side too. But moving forward, we have upgraded to the Minn Kota bracket at the front here. So again, I always talk about Southeast Queensland and Queensland in general love doing their Minn Kota fishing, especially in an estuary like this, where you want to sneak up on the fish, add one of these on, it'll change your life. So that is fully ready to go for a Minn Kota and plenty of battery storage, which we'll show you in a second, but fully under this front cast deck up here. Moving towards the bow, we have got the heavy duty bow sprit and we have got the anchor well down inside there too with the cross bollard. So again, for your standard anchor, you could possibly fit a very small drum winch if you wanted to go for that style too, but plenty of room for an anchor, heavy duty bow sprit, what more could you want? So I just love the finish on the extreme boats. They press in these sides here just to make it look very tough, very mean, and the angles look amazing too. But you can see it's got the swept back design. It has got the raised shear line coming up to the front. So it look, does look very pretty out in the water. And it has got a 19 and a half degree dead rise here. Reverse chimes come all the way through to the front of the boat. So it's very nice and dry riding. So down below, like all extremes, the Enduro also features the water ballast. So it is a self-flooding keel style, so it will flood all the way through the boat. And what that does when you're at rest, fills up, brings the total weight of the boat down, so it turns it into a very stable boat. You may also notice it's got these bungs here, and they're actually airtight seals. And under there, there's these airtight chambers. And again, when you're at rest, just adds more buoyancy to the whole entire boat. So it's a very overall, very stable boat, which you want in an open style boat, especially when you're up at the front of the casting lures, you want as much stability as you can get. So right at the back of the boat, we have got the Yamaha F90 powering us along here, which is maximum horsepower on here. So again, great fuel efficiency, great response out the water, great handling. I would highly recommend that motor. It is the one, the big 1.8 litre block, same as the 75 too, if you did want to go down to a 75. But that's powering us along. We have got these nice swim steps out the back on the Enduro, so plenty of room to get on and off the boat, even if you just wanted to hang out the back. 
nice handrails to get on, some more cleats too, two, uh, one on either side. And we have got the standard boarding ladder here, which just folds away when not in use, but very, does the job well. So on the rear casting deck on this Endura, it is nice and high too. So if a couple of people wanted to cast some lures out the back, good spot for it. But below this, we have got a few different storage areas. Just some basic storage over here. That's our fuel water separating filter. But the main focus in the middle is the live bait tank. So the water's gonna come through there, drains out through the back of the transom pod. Very nice and easy. Again, battery over here, isolator switch from the factory. So this Enduro has been upgraded with the side console option. Now standard, it does come as a tiller style. So if you don't prefer the console, leave it standard, have a tiller. I like the tiller steers. I've always been a big fan of tiller steer boats. You won't have this console in the way, but console in this works great. We have got the nine inch Garmin on here. This is the 95 SV Echo Map. And these are our two Yamaha gauges. These are the upgrade to the land gauges here. So fully connected into our, um, into our motor directly. So it gives you live of fuel readings of um, miles per gallon, how many liters per hour, you're doing all that. Our gang switch panel standard from the factory down here too with the light up buttons, so it does tell you which is operating. Bilge pump, aerator switch for our light bait, some anchor and navigation lights. We have got the VHF radio too. This is a GME GX750, which we've added on and that just sits nice and perfect away. But hydraulic steering right in front of you. I have got the nice Perspex screen up here like a little storage pocket up here. So if you want to put your keys or you could even put a mat inside here just to protect the paint a little bit more, but spot for your um, items here. And there is another one below your knees down there too. So we have optioned this Enduro with the full sea deck covered floor. As standard, you can get like a checker plate for, uh, floor from factory, but sea deck, uh, it's probably one of my most highly recommended options to get on a aluminium floor boat. It feels amazing on your feet. You have got that grip there, easy to clean too. So very minimal effort. And we have got it wrapping up onto the gunnels too. So we have got the embossed. So if you did want to get up onto the gunnels, you can, you can be safe that you've got the grip beneath you too. So really nice finish on this Enduro. So for fuel, this is a 80 litre underfloor fuel tank. So plenty of range, especially if you've got a max horsepower in the back, it's gonna be using very little fuel. So that lives in the back corner over here. Full rod holders, again, fully welded and CNC'd in the Extreme Factory. So the perfect finish, very nice weld on the finish there. We have got four in total and another two at the front on the bow. So we have got a really nice high cast deck on this Enduro. I like it, it gets you nice and high and there's so much casting area. You know, you're not fighting against any consoles or uh, anything else in the way up here. You can cast where you want and you not have to yeah, fight around anything, but great casting deck at the front. Check out the welds down, just the, the beautiful finish on these, the craftsmanship. There's just no faults running through these at all, but fully welded decks up here and you have got ample storage. So both sides, these do open up. Again, spot for your Minkota battery if you wanted to run one of those. That comes onto this side too. Down the middle. You've got this nice step here, which I really like too. So you're not having to have a big leap up. You have got a step to help you. More storage down the middle deck and you have got the rod holder mounts here too. So if you wanted to put a few more rods away, tuck them away, you can do that. So beneath the main deck here, we have got another little kill tank area. So again, just some storage. So if you do have a nice catch and you want to put him somewhere, nice little spot to put in there. And that drains out too. So very nice and handy under the deck. Well, we hope you enjoyed that walkthrough video on the 1770 Enduro. It is a great little open boat. If you're, if you're doing mainly your fishing in the creeks, estuaries, but a bit of open water too, this may just be the perfect boat for you. Very easy to maintain, very easy to clean and very easy to store at your home. If you want any more information, jump onto our website. All the pricing is there and current at gcbc.com.au. If you prefer to speak to someone, give our sales team a call on 0755 But again, don't miss out on any future videos that we do. Subscribe to the channel below and drop a like. It really helps out a lot.